Hello and welcome back to the table. We've heard about the rise of Chef Carlos Brown and his gala sauce business and all the good things that he has been doing. Joining the conversation is his wife and life partner, LaShawn Brown, because we all know beside a good man in front of next to holding it down is a good woman. Thank you. Yes, indeed. And this has been a good and beautiful journey for the two of you, right? Yes. yes. Let me just start. Let me not bury the lead. Five children. Yes. Ma'am. <laughs> What's the age range? Uh, my oldest will be 20. They'll be 20, 18, 16, 14, and 11. Y'all heard that. The twosies. There are a bunch of twosies in yeah, there. Yeah, it's that a bunch is, of And 20 years <laughs> together, right? Well, 21 years this year married, together 22. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. How this is, and we're looking at this beautiful family photo now. How do you all manage this? Because this is a lot of success. You're a very successful realtor and makeup artist. How do you manage all of these gifts and blessings? It's literally the grace of God. <laughs> it's that we stay sane in the midst of it. It's a lot of hard work. Um, and I think that I'm probably the calm one. Compared to Chef, I would oh. say. And so I just try to keep everything level where mm -hmm. we're not, you know. Keep everything even, yes. but juggling, right? Absolutely. Because, But it's a lot. I have to imagine it's a lot of fun, too, right? Because yes. 20 years ago, things were very, very different. Yes, they were. Let's talk about what this journey has been like for the two of you and, and how you guys met and made all of this work in the process. So I was singing in a community choir and he was the director, director of another yeah. choir. Mm -hmm. And we had a mutual friend that invited me to go to rehearsal. And so I went to the rehearsal, just not thinking anything, sitting there and Chef Carlos. Is, you didn't want to come. At I, first. Didn't wanna come. Right. I didn't want to come. I didn't want to go. I like made up every excuse in the world not to go. Mm -hmm. And then eventually he was like, just come on. So I'm like, OK, cool. Get there. He's ministering back turned to me. He's talking to the choir. The word started coming up and I was like, oh, this brother know the word. <laughs> That's literally all I thought. Uh -huh. Like He knows the word. And then I heard a voice say, there's your husband. Oh. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I'm curious. So how soon after you said, no, 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 no. Yeah. How soon after, no, 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 were you guys getting married? Oh. So, I mean, funny, funny thing is when, when she turned around, I said the same thing. And I heard the same thing. Like, that's your wife. I was oh. like, oh, no. And yeah. then I went to, uh, she had a pool party. <laughs> and you were like, and oh, And he was invited yes. by the mutual friend <laughs> to, to come to the pool party. Which wasn't my pool party. It was my roommate's pool party. Mm -hmm. So we, he comes to the pool party and he was like, I thought you were saved. I said, <laughs> oh, I am saved. I am saved. I'm like, what and do I'm you fine. want to have on at the <laughs> and I'm food, right? and I'm Come fine. on, don't play with me. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so listen, funny. I want to get to, um, there's a, a beautiful story that I love about the Smithsonian and how the two of you realized you were actually in the Smithsonian for shrimp and grits. Yes. yes. And yes. tell me more. Well, so at first I was in Minnesota working for the, I worked for the NFL. Mm -hmm. so I was working with the Minnesota Vikings then. And I got a phone call. And then the, the, I, I, I landed the phone. The lady was crying. An older lady from New York. Mm -hmm. and she was like, oh my God, this is Chef Carlos. She sent me a photo, texted it over to me. I was like. This is the photo I, she sent you? Yes. I was like, whoa, I'm in the Smithsonian? How and did you that did happen? not know? Had no clue. Had no clue. So I said, I called her. She was in Atlanta. And I said, hey, that's fly to Minnesota. That's fly to D.C. Yeah. Uh -huh. I got to see this. We flew yeah. into D.C. Yeah. And the museum was closed. Yeah. Ah, of course. And we so, were like, what? They, they we were like, no, you have to have tickets. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah, were yeah. like, what? But the, the tickets were free. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I didn't know that you had to have, have a like a reservation yeah, to get it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then the security mm -hmm. guard, he says, oh, that's the guy from upstairs. Yeah. He's like, Carlos oh, was like, hey, wow. it's me. You know, I just flew in to see. I'm in. I'm, yeah. in, I'm actually in. in, in I'm in the exhibit, so yeah. to speak. I'm just talking to him myself, thinking, you know, he really going to believe it. So he's like, oh, yeah. He said, hold on a second. I'll get you in. Yeah. So he took us in. We got in. It was yeah. like, wow. Right wow. So the moment that you yeah. saw this. Oh, God. Yeah. What goes through your mind? Like, wow. Tears. Yeah. Tears came out my eye. I yeah. couldn't believe it. And where was this? Like, what, what this moment was captured when? That's on the fourth floor yeah. of the museum. No, no, no. This moment that was shot by Harlem the Eda. photographer. Oh, so. This was at a Harlem yeah, That was a Harlem okay. Meetup doing Marcus okay. Samuelson. So I didn't have no clue where they got this photo from. 
And when I got there and think, whoa, yeah. you know, this guy from South Carolina, you know, he started the projects and now look where you are. A full circle moment. You know, it's yeah. like the history just went, whoa, I blew my mind. So yeah, that's, that's an incredible moment. You yeah, know? for sure. Yeah, I'm so. wondering about it because uh, the first time you worked with a celebrity mm-hmm. and we should point out you have worked with a lot and uh, this is what you do. <laughs> but that first time that you realize, no, I'm taking this to another level. I see Oprah. Yeah. But even before her, I was tricked because I was working at this restaurant in South Carolina and Jim Carrey was eating at the restaurant. Oh, wow. I made the entree, didn't uh-huh. realize I was supposed to make the, the entree. Mm-hmm. He walks in the kitchen with, with the chef and said, hey, who made his food? I thought I was going to get fired. And he says, this guy did. So I was shocked. And even with Oprah, mm-hmm. when I met her, like nobody told me anything. They're just like, hey, come in and make this food today. So I came in and made the food. It brought me into the dining room. There's Oprah standing there. I'm going, to go, oh, oh my God. Wow. That really set me up. That's a beautiful setup. Yeah. Beautiful so, setup. So hold, the, oh the, hold that thought. Hold that <laughs> thought. We've got more coming up. And we're going to continue this conversation about what it takes to get to the next level of your career, of love, all of the work. But of course, you know, we're cooking. Right. We're not going to have a chef here and not cook. So get ready for the shrimp and grits. Apparently, the shrimp and grits of your life, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. You got to sell it. Right. Okay. We'll be right back. Hey there. Portia here. Listen, that was a good conversation, wasn't it? Want to see the rest of it? Just go to PortiaShow.com. Scroll down until you see that particular episode. But listen, before you scroll on out of here, I need you to do me a favor, please like comment let us know what you thought of that episode and subscribe and if you already are a subscriber we sure appreciate you in the meantime we'll be sure to see you on the next episode of Porsche and you can catch us weeknights on Fox Soul as well tell your friends tell them to like comment and subscribe see you next time